Hello and welcome. The FPGA Vision Lectures give you the opportunity to understand algorithms and circuit architectures for image processing. In this video, I want to give you some suggestions for next steps, so things you can do now to work with the knowledge you acquired in the videos. The course consists of seven videos and the remote lab. Based on the files that you have, you can make several extensions. To improve the implementation, you can shift the RGB conversion before the line memories. This has been described in one of the videos. The output of the circuit should be identical, so you can use the same test bench and the same C program as before. Another optimization would be to reduce the word width, for example, to 10 or 8 bit for the luminance data. If you do this, you have to modify the C program and of course the VHDL. Or you can implement the architecture on a different FPGA. To improve the algorithm, you could adapt the processing to different lighting conditions. For this task, you would analyze the conditions in the current image and adapt factors in the algorithm for the next image. Or to change the algorithm, you could try another edge detection, for example a 5x5 Sobel filter or the Kenny algorithm. Also you can work on the application and extend the algorithm we have so far. This would be an identification of lanes with half transformation, plausibility check, so which lines in the image really belong to the lanes and then superimposing the lines on the image. This task is rather demanding, so it requires quite some work, but certainly is very interesting. Driver assistance is a reality. Self-driving cars are starting to be in the streets. I hope you found the information in the videos useful, and now it's up to you to use the remote lab for your own experiments.